Yo, what's up everyone, it's Tech Talk and we're diving deep into the world of AI development in 2025. Specifically, we're talking about the operating systems that are going to be powering your next big AI project. Linux has always been a powerhouse for developers, but with the rise of AI, certain distributions are pulling ahead of the pack. We're talking pre-installed libraries, optimized workflows, and the kind of performance that gets you hyped about training models. So, whether you're a seasoned AI engineer or just starting out, this video is your guide to picking the right Linux distro for your needs. We're breaking down the pros and cons, the unique features, and everything in between. Let's get into it. First up, we're kicking things off with Ubuntu AI, and let me tell you, this distro means business. Right out of the box, you're greeted with all the heavy hitters pre-installed, TensorFlow, PyTorch, you name it. They've really streamlined the setup process so you can spend less time configuring and more time actually building. But it's not just about convenience, Ubuntu AI is built for performance. They've really leaned into GPU acceleration, making sure you're getting the most out of your hardware, whether you're rocking a beastly desktop or a powerful cloud instance. And trust me, when you're training these massive AI models, every ounce of performance matters. And the best part is, Ubuntu AI leverages Canonical's Snap Package Management System. This means updates are seamless, secure, and you're always running the latest and greatest versions of your AI tools. They've really thought of everything to optimize your workflow. Next up we have Fedora, a distro that needs no introduction in the developer community. Fedora has always been known for pushing the boundaries, for being that testing ground for the newest technologies, and in the world of AI, that's a huge advantage. Think about it, AI is evolving at an insane pace. New frameworks, new libraries, they're popping up all the time. With Fedora, you're on the bleeding edge. You get access to these tools as soon as they're available, giving you a competitive edge in your AI endeavors. Plus, Fedora has a really active and passionate community of developers and researchers. So if you ever run into a roadblock, need help with a specific library, or just want to geek out about the latest AI breakthroughs, you'll find yourself in good company. Now let's talk about Pop OS, a distro that's been making waves in the developer world. And for good reason, Pop OS is all about optimizing your workflow, giving you a clean, focused environment to maximize your productivity. And with their upcoming Cosmic Desktop environment, things are about to get even more interesting. Cosmic is designed with performance and customization in mind, promising an even smoother and more intuitive experience, especially for resource-intensive tasks like AI development. But it's not all about looks. Under the hood, Pop OS is built on a rock-solid Ubuntu base, so you get all the stability and compatibility you'd expect, along with access to that massive Ubuntu software ecosystem. Now, if you're the kind of developer who values stability above all else, then Debian is your go-to distro for AI development. Debian has a reputation for being rock solid, for being the distro that just works. And that peace of mind is invaluable when you're working on complex AI projects. But don't let that stability fool you. Debian is no slouch when it comes to AI tools and libraries. Their repositories are incredibly extensive, offering a vast selection of software packages to power your AI workflows. And because of Debian's focus on stability, you can be sure that these packages are thoroughly tested and reliable. Plus, Debian's long release cycle means you won't be constantly bombarded with updates, allowing you to focus on your projects without interruptions. It's the perfect choice for developers who value a stable and predictable development environment. All right, let's talk about Manjaro, a distro that's perfect for both beginners and experienced Linux users alike. Manjaro is known for its user-friendly approach, making it incredibly easy to get up and running with a polished desktop environment right from the start. But here's the thing, Manjaro is built on Arch Linux, which means you get access to the legendary Arch user repository. Yeah, the AUR. The AUR is a massive community-driven repository that gives you access to a vast library of software including tons of cutting-edge AI tools and libraries. So, whether you're just starting your AI journey or you're a seasoned pro looking for a powerful and customizable distro, Manjaro has something to offer everyone. Finally, we have OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, 
a distro that's perfect for those who want to be on the bleeding edge of both Linux and AI development. Tumbleweed follows a rolling release model which means you're constantly getting the latest software updates, including the newest kernels, libraries, and of course, AI tools. This rolling release model ensures that you're always running the most up-to-date software, which is crucial in the fast-paced world of AI. You won't have to wait for major releases to get your hands on the latest features and improvements. Plus, OpenSUSE has a strong focus on stability and testing, so even though you're getting the latest and greatest, you can still trust that your system is going to be reliable and robust. So there you have it. Our top picks for the best Linux distros for AI development in 2025. No matter your workflow, one of these distros is sure to power your AI projects in 2025. Whether you're all about that pre-configured life with Ubuntu AI, or you prefer to be on the bleeding edge with Fedora or OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, the power is in your hands. Now I want to hear from you guys, which distro are you rocking for your AI projects? Did I miss any hidden gems? Let me know in the comments down below and let's keep this conversation going. As always, thanks for watching.